Hi guys, today I am at uh, Les Mis uh, and I'm talking to Bradley Jaden. How's it going? You've been here for a couple of months now? Not even, a, I think it's five weeks now. Like, yeah, I think I'm in my fifth week and it's, it's I mean, it's literally beyond words. I'm having the absolute time of my life and yeah, just loving every second of it. Very so right. you, you were in Les Mis before? Yes. A um, few years ago? Um, that's from my character. Four and a half years ago. And you were on ensemble. dress and... No, I was just ensemble when I first started. And then you did you come back? Yeah, so I was, I was uh, played leg lay in the first year. Right. And I was second cover on dress. Okay. So it was like the 29th year of the production and then... Okay. And then I was asked to audition for on dress for the second year. Right. And did you understudy Jean Valjean? I didn't when I was playing on dress, yeah. You did? Okay. I did read that right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is Javert something that you'd always wanted to play, or did you think maybe you'd like to come back and play Jean Valjean? You know what? Like role, or... well, I mean, a couple of my friends when they said I was, when I've spoken to them since since like been at drama school, they kind of said, "Oh, I remember when you said it." But I think I don't know. I mean, the only role that I ever wanted to play was Andras because I never kind of grew up really listening to loads of musicals or kind of knowing what I was capable of or you know it was, I didn't start until I was quite late right. in um, about like 17, 18 when I started to sing so I didn't really know what I was capable of what I wanted to do and, but um, I just knew that Les Mis was always something I was absolutely dying to be part of and uh, I probably would have just swept the floor if they would have asked me to but, um, so to be here now is just it's honestly beyond words I'm just so lucky. Now Les Mis, everyone's seen Les Mis you know yeah. countless times um, the thing I always struggle with is defining what is it really about. People ask me what it's about and I tend to start from the beginning and kind of rattle off everything. What is the generic storyline? Well, I like to think of it as like, I think I always try and say this, it's about like love, hope, redemption. And I just think we just so happen to kind of follow the protagonist Jean Valjean on his journey but what is amazing about Les Mis is that if you followed any particular ensemble member or any other character they'd have this whole massive backstory and this whole journey of themselves and I think we just just by chance follow Jean Valjean's story and he kind of wants to you know searches for betterment and stuff of of that time and era um, and you know it has some amazing amazing parts and roles throughout the show and it, it kind of keeps you on your edge and it brings happiness and sadness and a bit of laughter from certain characters and I think it kind of just brings everything what you kind of want in a, in a play and in a musical. And so what about your character? What, what's well, your character I all about? Kind of, I play Javert which is the kind of, say the main antagonist of the, of the character and he... The baddie. I don't see him as baddie. No. A lot of people say he's evil but I don't think he's evil. I think he's just, um, he's He's driven and he's committed to his craft, which is the law, and he wants to make sure that everyone abides by the law. And, and he searches for, you know, the reason he searches for Jean Valjean is because he's, he's broken the law, mm -hmm. and, and and it's the one that kind of got away. Yeah. Um, it just by happens that he, you know, obviously he's so passionate. Some people can perceive that as as an evil trait, or but you know, he's got such a wonderful arc throughout the whole, the whole piece and, you know, stepping away from different characters that I have played from him, like, it's just, it, it, to go on that journey every night is wonderful. I've got a bit of a quiz for you. Um, I normally play this game, but I've decided not to do that with you, and I was having a look for some fun facts about Les Mis. Oh, um, So I'm going to call it Who Am I? This is going to be awkward, because I've read the book like, three times, so if I don't get this... Okay, you should know terrible. them then. There's, some e there's only a few, but there's some oh, easy right. ones, um, mostly about Javert. Um, where and when was he born? He was... Well, or what kind of establishment was he born in more than whereabouts in? Well, he was born as a from a fortune teller's as a fortune teller's son, um, and he was born in a jail. So you know, uh, but he I'm trying to work out how old. So he, he, he but he dies at fifty two. So I'm trying to think, is it? Fifty three. Fifty three. Oh, he's born. What? What's he? What's he born? He's, I think he's 52, they say, he's when, he, when he passes away, so I would have to, I don't know exactly. He died at 52. Yeah. But he was born in 1718. 
80, that's it. Um, you pretty much answered all those questions. <laughs> what was his mother's job? Paul Tower. Um, how old was he when he died? Um, what was the name given to the student protests depicted in Les Mis? The Les Mis? No, like the, um, the actual true, what were they called, the protesters? What was the, like, the French Revolution, it was called oh. something else. Sound like this is gonna kill me. And I, it should kill me, because I was dangerous. I can't think of this, really. Give me a, can I have a clue? This is it bad. starts with a month of the year. June Rebellion. That's it. Um, how does Javert die? Well, maybe I should leave that open okay. so that the uh, the people that haven't seen Blame is over yes. this time and why they haven't seen it, I don't okay. know. Let's not come and see it. It's definitely not when you sing stars, though. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, what's <laughs> Javert's nationality? Oh. Hmm. A lot of fans are going to by this and I'm, I'll apologise straight up. I'm not sure. French? Is it just French? Because I thought it was a fortune teller's... He's a traveller, so... I think, well, according to Wikipedia fan... I was going to say French, which may or may not Because he is a fortune teller. Let's, we're open that out to people, because I would apologise. Yeah, just, let us know down below <laughs> if any of this is untrue, because I'm literally going by what I've Googled today. Um, <laughs> and a fairly easy one, who plays Javert in the film? Hugh Jackman. No, no oh, sorry, Russell Crowe, sorry. <laughs> so can... Correct. Um, okay, you did really well there, actually. Oh. I'm not going <laughs> to well, score it up. But probably didn't do that well. But... I'm going to say you got most of them. I believe these are correct. Please don't have a go at me <laughs> if they're not. Um, have you got a favourite song in Les Mis? Not necessarily one that you've seen, but just Ooh. in the whole show. Um, my favourites. One of my favourites every night is Confrontation, which I have to, but I've always absolutely adored that. Um, and I think my other favourite one would be the epilogue. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's like proper pulls at the heartstrings. It's hard to pick one, isn't it? Because yeah. it pretty much is just one. Yeah, yeah I mean, you could continuous. literally just pick a pick a song, and if, at, at any point, you're like, yeah, that relates to me, and that relates to me, and. Uh, and that day you, you you go on stage and that one just blows your mind how the audience react and, and sometimes you come off and go oh, I didn't like that didn't like how I did that this evening and, and that has a big change but um, yeah confrontation is definitely one that's always always fun. And um, finally, why why should people come and see Les Mis? Um, well, this cast is you know is very very special and it's got a lot of incredible talents but a lot of especially new talent as well is coming through straight out of grad school and um, I think it's particularly this cast cares a hell of a lot about the piece which is amazing to be part of especially 33 years down the line um, I think it's it, the way people are telling the story and portraying their characters it's, it's really exciting and um, I think it's a, bit, a little bit fresh and um, yeah I think everyone's just you know I'm not going to say everyone does it in every show because they don't, but I think everyone's very grateful to be part of Les Mis and to keep that tradition alive. And I think, you know, if you haven't seen a classic or uh, you're new to theatre or kind of musicals, I think it's a great one to kind of just put your phones down at and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and immerse yourself and just uh, kind of, I think you could follow any one or two characters and just let your imagination go. It's great. There you go, come and check it out, Les Mis, uh, currently on at the Queen's Theatre in the West End. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can buy tickets, as always. Uh, do leave a comment below to let me know what I got wrong in everything what that I, I got wrong. talked about. <laughs> um, and uh, like, subscribe, and all of that, and thank you very much. Thank you very and, much. Um, have a great show tonight. Thank you very much.